Hmm, what is my project today? Has to do with a uh, Homer bucket from Home Depot. <laughs> I got a sponge in here, a rag, and uh, I got my nail bag here. Oh, mm. caulking. Yes, what kind am I using? What kind? Am I using? Let's see here. I'll get you. I'll get you down here. Dynaflex 230, and it's from DAP. And the color is almond. I call this kind of an off-white. And this was this is what they had. And it's called almond premium elastomeric. Elastomeric means it's got some stretching compound in it and it's very flexible. See this? Super flexibility and crack proof. This is for windows, doors, siding, trim. It's 100% waterproof. Seals joints up to two inches wide. Two hour paint ready, ideal for wood com composite and PVC trim. I'm not using it for any of that stuff, but I am using it for something that's 100% waterproof. And this stuff is going to work really good. And by the way, you don't have to use this. You, they, they've got different things at the hardware store. And when you're at Home Depot, you can check around, tell somebody what you're working on. And they'll suggest what type of caulking, because they got all kinds of different caulkings now. See? Here, I've got a tub enclosure, and the tub is that almond color, the tile's almond color. That's why I got almond colored paint, uh, caulking, see? When it dries, it's gonna be pretty close. In fact, it's gonna be a little bit lighter than this. It should be when it gets put on there. And initially, I think I was talking to you on one particular video that I thought I was going to uh, kind of break out the, the, the grout a little bit and clean it out. See this? This is a gap. It's missing. Here's another bit. Here's some. Here's some. Here's some. There. Up there. In quite a few different spots. And it just doesn't look too good. See, there's, there's another crack over there. I mean, it's not too bad. And initially I was thinking I was going to caulk it and I was thinking I was going to use white caulking and I thought, no, that's not going to look very good. See, this is even that almond color. Okay, and so, and I do have the grout, by the way. I've got this exact grout. The last owner was kind enough to leave me all of his different grouts. He had, he had like three different grouts this one for this one for the fireplace floor the hearth area one for the uh, uh, the tile the um, oh what do you call it the floor tile on the on the floors and the grout in the master shower is a little bit different than this the travertine floor tiles what I was wanting to say through the kitchen and the and the hallways and all that kind of stuff. He left me all that grout. So I do have the grout. And I was going to clean this. And they have some little grout removal tools at the hardware store. Any place where you think uh, you need to do it. Because I was going to like clean certain places out and then re-grout it. Just, just in the spots. I didn't have to re-grout the whole thing. A lot, a lot of it overall looks pretty good. But if you start looking at it with a fine tooth comb, you're going to see all kinds of of things. And I don't know if your tile is starting to look like this and aged and stuff. Maybe there's something you can do about it. Maybe you don't have to to, to match your, your uh, grout. The hardest thing, let me tell you, the hardest thing is to match grout sometimes. You go to the store, oh yeah, I know what it is. It's this off gray. And you go there and there's three different color grays. Or there's, and, and then it, when it dries, it, it kind of goes a little bit slightly different. And then you, you, you got a mismatch of whatever you're trying to patch. You know what I mean? Now they also have, they also have some caulking and it's actually grout that comes in a caulk tube and it's in the, in the tile area. Um, and if you've got, 
you, you know, if I was, if I had not, not for here, but if I had big grout lines, let's say, and I didn't think it was going to look right uh, doing just regular smooth caulking, they have stuff like this in, the, in different colors and it's got just a little bit of sand in it and you caulk it, use it just like caulk because it comes in a caulking tube and you can do that. But see here, the grout lines are so th small. See how small it is? I'm just going to put a little bit of caulking in there, rub it back and forth and then wipe it off. You know, I, I got to make a video of this. Well, I'm just kind of explaining to you what I'm going to do and maybe it's going to be helpful for you, you know. And, and um, see on the outside, I've got here. Here's a, a bit and this and this tile is it's not really loose, but once I caulk it in there better, it'll secure it off. I'll, I'll have to clean out a little bit of the old grout maybe just a hair in there and this see this piece here is loose see that look at that look I just pulled it off my fingernail here it is so I can I can caulk that I can use I can just use this it's, it's gonna look good when I get done and I, I'll, I'll show you it when I get done and then see down here from the floor on up they use the same that here they use caulking down here I can see it see this see the edge right there you see that it's flexible caulking and I'm gonna clean all that off even down on the floor just along here because see see over here look see how it's lifting and I can I can clean all that here it's loose so I'll clean all that and and get it up to there and then I'll use my uh, my almond colored caulking to there. Here's a little bit more I can I can add in there. And see here, look at this. They, it looks like somebody tried to caulk down here on the floor. And we had the painters come in here and repaint, and all they did was mask it off, and then they sprayed the baseboard. And this is how they left it. Well, see, I'll, I'll end up I'll end up cleaning this off. And that's, I don't know if that's going to be part of this project or not, but then see, I can put a tight white bead over here because the baseboard's white. There's no way I would want to use almond because then that would look funky. You know what I mean? So I could, I could clean that up. I could, I could do that at least over to there maybe. And I have some white caulking. I, uh, I always carry some white caulking around lit and see here on the base here. Same, same type of thing. It just looks kind of tired and outdated, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't look nice and clean and fresh. Again, the painters, they just masked this off and they sprayed the base and, and they left everything else. It wasn't their job to recalk that and, and everything. Apparently, unbeknownst to me, but um, you see back in there how the caulking is, has failed and stuff? If I really wanted to do a really super good job in this bathroom, I would clean off along the the base at the bottom and stuff. I'd even look I'd even look along the uh, the base of the toilet, and that and that actually you know I could check that all the way around. If there were some imperfections on that, I could use my uh, my almond caulking because the toilet is is almond. But then I would use white down at the baseboard, okay? And see, see how the, along the base, it's not really, it's not really the greatest. When you look at it overall, you don't really notice it, but when you start looking at it, the fine tooth comb, you can see, oh yeah, I know how Joe is. Joe is really particular about his work, and if he does want to tackle something, he's gonna make it look 100% right. And, I joke, you know, that's what that's what I'll end up doing. And like I say, I don't know if I'm gonna include this on this particular video, if I'm gonna wait and do this on another, I, I might do this on another project, call that a set a separate project. My first and foremost goal is to use my my almond and get 
the tub all redone. You know, wherever I need to, and, and even down here at the bottom, from, from the tub on up to the tile, 